Hey, what is up, Food 2 fan? Welcome back to another video. So, right now I'm going to be heading down to my local donut shop just down the street. It's your basic donut shop, nothing special, but I have something special I'm going to do to these donuts. So, see you guys there. West Coast Donuts is near the corner of Pickaboo Boulevard, Byway, Palm Avenue. Got a Popeyes across the street, 7 Eleven. Right over there is the high school where I graduated years ago. Alright guys, I'm here in front of West Coast Donuts in my hood. It's your basic donut shop. But like I said, I got something special to do with these donuts when I get home, so. Right, guys let's get these donuts home all right guys so I'm back with the donuts so let's work that magic Food 2 fam, check it out. Check out the magic. This is something I just did off the top of the head from whatever I had lying around the house. So, got a couple of strawberries, some whipped cream, some Trader Joe's baton wafer cookies, some Oreo crumbles on top of some whipped cream, chocolate drizzle over a glazed donut. Glazed donut for the strawberry. This is a um, chocolate raised ring with the Oreo, half of an Oreo Brookio cookie with some baton wafer cookie crumbles and a half of a baton wafer cookie right here. It's supposed to be standing up. But the whipped cream is getting more liquefied. And this right here, this last piece. And this is a um, Boston cream chocolate covered donut. Add a few banana slices, some whipped cream, chocolate drizzle, and some cookie butter right here. So, can't wait to see how that tastes, or all of these for that matter. All right guys, I'm starving. Let's take a bite of these, see how these turned out. All right guys, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the strawberry and cream one. 
I love strawberry and cream combinations. Check it out. Cheers, guys. Mm. Not to mention the West Coast donuts. Donut textures are very soft. Mm. I have to add more whipped cream. Pretty messy, y'all. Oh, and this baton cookie does have a um, cocoa cream filling inside. Nice pink color wafer, though. Goes together with this strawberry shortcake donut. No, guys, I'm pretty um, curious to see how this Boston cream with bananas and cream on top and cookie butter. So, this is my banana cream cookie butter donut. It's all messy, but hey, hope it tastes good. Cheers. Mmm, that cookie butter. A lot of cream with this. I love it. Just messy. Mm. That Boston cream inside with the bananas, mm, like banana pudding, and the cream, whipped cream on top with the um, cookie butter smothered on top, and the chocolate drizzle, oh, and the chocolate frosting. All the flavors. Wow. Mmm. My kind of donut. You need a couple more bananas on top of this. It's okay. I'll just eat a banana with it. Mm. This is a bomb combination right here. By far, the messiest donut, but the tastiest. <laughs> mm. mm. Alright guys, next up is the glazed donut with this whipped cream center and Oreo cookie crumbles and a Brookio cookie piece here and a wafer cookie right there. Alright. Oh. Cheers. Mm. See, if you have a, the right ingredients at home, it could be anything, you can make your own gourmet donuts. You don't always have to travel far or distant to find that special gourmet donut, like Colorado, SKs, California donuts, DKs, all up in the LA area. So, if I'm not able to drive up all the way over there, I'll just go down to my local donut shop because the texture of the donuts is bomb anyways. And I, all I have to do is have the right ingredients, the right toppings, whipped cream, strawberries, cookies, whatever. So. Just gotta be creative.
I'm getting too messy. Already getting filled too. All right, guys. Last but not least is the chocolate ring raised donut. All I did was put some whipped cream in there, Trader Joe's wafer baton cookie crumbles, and the piece of the wafer baton cookie, and a half of the Brickio Oreos cookie. Guys, I was a little bummed about this donut right here in particular because I had previously put aside a white chocolate Kit Kat specifically for this donut. But when it came time to assembling this donut, I totally forgot about the Kit Kat and started scrambling in my mind, what am I gonna use as a topping? And I quick, quickly thought of the other half of the Brookie Oreo cookie. So, I mean, it worked out, but at the same time, I really had plans for the Kit Kat as the topping, but oh well. All right. Cheers. Mm. Man, whipped cream makes everything taste good. Wow. Mm. Look at that brookio cookie. Three layer icing on that cookie. Wow, that's pretty rich. Mm, something about whipped cream. I'm really reaching my sugar limit, guys. Mm. Wow, guys, that was a lot of sugar for this morning. So I think that about just does it right there for my breakfast and those loaded donuts that I put together this morning. Shout out to West Coast Donuts. Textures are always on point, soft, airy, and um, yeah, like I said, grab whatever you have lying around the house. If you want to make your own gourmet donuts, not, not hard to do, just be creative. So yeah, it's going to do for my breakfast. And I'm going to finish off the rest of this banana, kind of make me feel less guilty. So, you know, all right, guys, thanks for joining me for breakfast. That was West Coast Donuts down in my neighborhood. And I'll see you guys at lunchtime. Peace. Hey, what is up, guys? It is lunchtime, and I am hungry, and I'm craving some pizza, specifically some Pizza Hut. You know, I want to try out that Detroit-style pizza of theirs, so let's go. Hey, what's up guys? I'm back, I'm back with lunch from my local Pizza Hut. I wanted to try this latest Detroit style pizza. So, and I do like Pizza Hut, so. All right guys, let's open this guy up. Sealed at the hut, open by you. All right. guys so let's get into this pizza right here hungry love thick crust pizza oh I got a um, dish of ranch right here ranch dressing and some Hansen's root beer or oh, original cola that is let's open this up cheers All right, guys, I'm starving. Let's get into this. Oh, they're cut into thinner strips. 
check out that marinara sauce on there. Pepperoni, double pepperoni. Look at that crust, I love it. Love the thick crust, pan crust, I love. Mm. Love that type of crust, especially the corners. almost forgot I cut up some carrot sticks you know gotta incorporate some veggies somehow right perfect with the ranch too you know I'm not that big of a fan of um, tomato based sauces though marinara's This is double pepperoni, but I ain't trying to eat too much pepperoni. Processed meats, salt, killers. You know, I do love white sauce pizzas though. Alfredo pizzas, white cheese pizzas, more than I do tomato based pizzas. Because when pizzas are too tomato y to me, I don't know, I'm not feeling too much tomato based pizzas. I'm more of a creamy, creamy, cheesy, Alfredo y. Love those sauces and textures. Good. Detroit style pizza. Crispy pepperoni. I could honestly do without the marinara on here. I could have got the cheese pizza, the Detroit style cheese pizza, but I did want some pepperonis on them. Although this is a double pepperoni, I figured I could just remove what I don't want and keep what I do want. So this is basically how I like my pizzas. Not a lot of tomato sauce. More cheese, some pepperoni. I do love pan crust pizzas, thick crust pizzas, more than I do flatbreads or flatbread pizzas, flat crust pizzas, or New York pizzas. Just more of a bite you get from the crust. And more of a fulfilling chew. Satisfying, very satisfying. I think I'm just gonna have this one last piece right here. The rest I'll save probably for my wife later. It's getting pretty filled already. Alrighty, here we go. Cheers.
Life Peace. Man, that is a lot of chewing. A lot of dough to chew through. Mm. Wow, that really hit the spot. Nothing like washing some pizza down with some cold soda. That combo was perfect. And this pizza was pretty satisfying. I mean, I only ate half of it. That was more than satisfying for me. I don't think I can do this whole thing right here. So like I said, I'm gonna save it for my wife later on. To finish the rest of this carrot stick off. Mm. It's a lot of sodium right here. I wonder how much sodium I eliminated through these little pepperonis right here. High blood pressure right here, high blood pressure. All right, guys, so that pizza was fresh. All right, guys, so that's going to do for my lunch. That was the double pepperoni Detroit style pizza from Pizza Hut. And I thought this pizza was pretty good, pretty satisfying. I mean, I only ate a half. And I do love thicker crust pizzas. A little bit too much pepperoni for me. And I know it is a double pepperoni. A little bit too much marinara sauce for me as well. But regardless, I did enjoy it. Satisfying. And yeah, that's going to do for my lunch. And I'll see you guys in the next part of the video. Peace. Hey, what is up guys so that was my little king kong sketch you just saw in my sketchbook um, i actually had this in a rough line sketch a while back and i just recently got back to it this past month and inked it all out so check it out what you guys think of it it's kong it's kong from the first movie but the next one i'm gonna do is godzilla so you best believe that all right but in any case kind of worked up an appetite and craving some snacks, so what do you say we can find something to munch on? Let's go. A little longer than a few minutes later. What's up guys, so I'm here in the newer developing areas of Chula Vista, it's Otay Ranch area. So they're pretty much developing Chula Vista, this part of Chula Vista with a bunch of eateries, a lot of restaurants. Pretty nice area, beautiful place. And this is referred to the Millennia section of Otay Ranch. So across the street there, they got the Otay Ranch Mall. They got a Jack in the Box right across the street right there and a Panera Bread. Beautiful area of Chula Vista, Old Time Ranch area. We are at the intersection of Birch and Millennia Avenue. I'm about to head to Paris Baguette. They opened a new location here in Old Time Ranch. Yeah, so we're going to head in there and see what goodies they got. So across the lot, they had a Luna Grill, a Hurricane Grill, pizzas. And directly across the lot, they had an ice camo and a share tea boba shop. But I'm here for Paris Baguette, and I'm heading in.
right, guys, got myself a little snack from Paris Baguette. So this right here is the blueberry yogurt cake. This is a strawberries and cream cake. And this is a mocha cake. Got this especially for my wife. She likes mocha coffee flavors. So I'm gonna try each and every one of these. So let's get into it, snack time. All right, first up, blueberry yogurt. Strawberry piece in there. Mm. The cake is nice, light, and spongy. Layer. Mm. Not really any strong flavors. Nice light blueberry hint of the yogurt. Love soft and spongy cakes. Mm. Looking forward to this one. I love strawberries and cream. What's this? What? All right, guys. Next is the strawberries and cream. Oh, look at this. Cheers, guys. Ooh, that is nice and soft. Real light spongy cake. Mm. That big strawberry chunk right here. Extra cream won't hurt. Perfect. Alright guys, check out this one. This is the mocha. So I'm not very big on mocha coffee flavored desserts, but I do like to taste them. 
and like I said earlier, I, just, I got this specifically for my wife. So, gonna give it a try. Ooh, so soft. Cheers. Mmm. Definitely taste that coffee in there. Nice, soggy wafer cookie. <laughs> I thought it was going to be crispy, but... Mm, not bad. Really spongy, these cakes. Mm, a nice buttercream, coffee flavor. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for my little sweet craving for the day. I went to a Paris baguette. I got the blueberry yogurt cake, strawberries and cream cake, and the mocha cake right here. So I'll see you guys at dinner time. Peace. What is up guys so it is time for dinner i went to this local mexican spot just down the street from where i live it's called hilberto's been going there for years you know it's been a while since i've been there and i've been craving carne asada chips and so here it is i'm starving break this up a little maybe mm. all right guys here we go Let's open some of this hot sauce right here. That has a lot of carne asada chips. I doubt I'll be able to finish it all, but I'm gonna try to eat till I'm satisfied. I'm not much of a carne asada fries person. My wife is, she loves it. So I got her a small order of carne asada, carne asada fries while I got the chips. I love carne asada chips. I don't know which one's the spicy one all the time, the red or the green. Sometimes it's opposite. Shoot, I think this might be an ASMR part of the video right here. Mm. 
Oh, and I do have a Trader Joe's sweet tea right here. Man, there's nothing like that melted cheese on the carne asada with that guacamole and sour cream and the crunch of the nachos. Mm. Man, it feels like and looks like I'm not even making a dent in this pile of nachos. I think the green sauce is the more spicier one. I bite down on these chips, like the corners start poking against the roof of my mouth. So it's kind of hard to bite down on it as one whole piece. Well, it does look like I did put a dent in it. But I don't think I'm going to finish this. I'm already reaching my limit. So I think I'm pretty good right now. I don't feel I need to force myself to finish all these chips right here. I did satisfy my carne asada chips craving for this evening. All right guys, so that is gonna do it for my dinner. That was Super Nachos carne asada chips from Hilberto's Mexican restaurant down the street from where I live, local spot. Been going there for years like I mentioned earlier. Wow, that was a lot of chips. I've never actually had a carne asada chip order all to myself before. Usually just shared it amongst family and stuff. So yeah, that was filling. So, all right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video as well as the food adventures. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next food adventures. So stay safe and stay fresh. Peace.